गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ श्री गोगुलम पब्लिक स्कूल टूडे यू विल लर्न अबाउट ए न्यू टॉपिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी कैन गो थ्रू एन एक्टिविटी डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ मेटल्स In today's class, we will be looking at displacement reaction of metals. The chemical that we need a bigger of copper sulfate solution, as well as a strip of zinc metal. What do you think will happen if we were to place this piece of zinc into this solution? Let's find out. keep it for some time after one hour we observe that as the reaction proceeds the solution changes from blue to colorless in addition a reddish brown solid also form on the surface of zinc metal so what is the chemistry behind this let's take a look this beaker is a full of copper sulfate solution the solution is blue due to the presence of copper ion what will happen if we add a piece of zinc into the solution now here there are two metals zinc in free state and copper in copper sulfate solution now we can check the reactivity series here we can compare the reactivity of zinc and copper the reactivity of zinc is higher than higher than copper in the series zinc is moved to the solution and copper is shifted to strip over time as the reaction proceeds more zinc ion go into the solution and more copper atom being deposited on zinc strip as such we can say that the more reactive zinc metal so displacement reactions of metal the more reactive metal can displace a less reactive metal from its salt solution here there are two metal zinc and copper zinc is more reactive than copper so zinc can displace less reactive copper from its solution over here next activity we have a beaker of zinc sulfate solution at a strip of reddish brown metal copper metal let's check what happen when this copper strip is placed in zinc sulfate solution keep it for one hour we observe that there is no change there is no reaction between copper and zinc sulfate why is this so Let's check the reactivity series. We know that copper is less reactive than zinc. Thus, both copper atom and zinc ions are happy to remain in their original state in this case. That means here, the less reactive copper can't replace more reactive zinc from its solution. So there is no reaction takes place. for better understanding we can perform an activity which is mentioned in your textbook page number 50 take five beakers and label them as p q r s and t pour 50 ml of water in each beaker
नेक्स्ट वी नीड टू प्रिपेयर कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन इन बीकर पी एंड क्यू सो डिजॉल्विंग कॉपर सल्फेट पाउडर इन बीकर पी एंड क्यू नेक्स्ट वी प्रिपेयर सिंग सल्फेट सोल्यूशन इन बीकर आर एंड टी सो एडिंग सिंग सल्फेट पाउडर एंड डिजॉल्व इट then we make a iron sulfate solution in beaker s by adding iron sulfate in beaker s next we put zinc granules in beaker p iron nail in beaker q and t copper turnings in beaker r and s leave the beakers undisturbed and observe the change in each beaker we have observed that in beaker p the blue color of copper sulfate disappears and a powdery red mass of copper is deposited at the bottom of the beaker we also observe that in beaker q red copper is found in the bottom of the beaker and on the nail leaving light green iron sulfate solution similarly we also observe that there is no change in the three beakers r s and t we learn that in beaker p zinc displaces copper from copper sulfate giving rise to colorless zinc sulfate solution we know that zinc is more reactive metal than copper so zinc displaces copper from copper sulfate solution and this copper is deposited similarly in beaker q iron displaces copper from copper sulfate giving rise to light green color of the iron sulfate you know that iron is more reactive than copper so iron can displace copper from copper sulfate solution giving to green color solution since we do not see any change in the color of three beakers r s and t copper is comparatively less reactive than the metal in solution so the copper can't displace the metal from the solution in beaker s copper is less reactive than zinc and the next beaker copper is less reactive than iron and the third one iron is less reactive than zinc finally we can see that a more reactive metal can displace less reactive metal but a less reactive metal cannot replace a more reactive metal that's why no change happened in the last three beakers let me conclude today's session in displacement reaction a more reactive metal displaces or replaces a less reactive metal from its solution a less reactive metal can't replace more reactive metal among zinc iron copper zinc is more reactive than iron which in turn more reactive than copper hope all you have understood about displacement reaction i have attached test paper as well as notes or you have to attend the test paper i have provided a url please watch it so we will meet in the next session till then bye take care thank you